Hi there. It's Sue, and thanks for joining me for Tips and Talk Day. These are bite-sized topics that I pull from community questions and things that I'm observing in the world of handmade small business. If you'd like to submit a topic, DM me over on Instagram at giftbizunwrapped. We've covered so many facets of a handmade product business over the course of the years, and today is no exception. We've talked about how to start and grow your business, stories from many of you who have done just that, how to choose and use social media sites, build your website. Oh my gosh, (laughs) there is just so much information here for you, but not necessarily at your fingertips. So. I've made a tool for you that categorizes by topic the episodes of this podcast, but only the ones that stay relevant over time. Because yes, let's face it, there are past shows that just don't work anymore for us today. The world is changing so fast, right? You can use this tool to zero in on whatever topic you need at the moment. Do you want to hear from others in your specific industry? How about details on Pinterest or setting up an email strategy? You can now easily find the right episodes and create your priority listening roster. Consider this your Gift Biz Resource Center at a glance. It's a Google Sheet, best viewable on your computer versus your phone. Make sure to look on the bottom where there are five separate sections for easy topic reference, kind of like chapters of a book. It makes finding the shows to help you with what you're working on right now so much easier. To access this free resource, go to giftbizunwrapped.com forward slash topics. I've heard it said that the answers you seek in life are only as good as the questions you ask. Because so much goes on in our heads, sometimes our thoughts are trying to answer the wrong questions. Or you get in a brain spin and ideas go round and round, randomly, without even attempting to answer a specific question. To make some sense of this random thought behavior, I decided to put together sets of questions to ask that will help reflect on your handmade product business journey. Some won't apply to you at all, some you've easily got covered, and some may poke at you and perhaps make you uneasy. Each year, I pick a focus word to help guide my actions for the next 12 months. You may have heard this strategy before. I've personally found it very useful. In the past, some of my words have been growth, personal development, and visibility. This year, my word is reflection. It's what led me to this question list. And I've already run through this exercise of answering these questions for myself, too. It's a way to keep my life in alignment with what I want, to see where there are areas that could use revisions or changes, and it definitely underscored my word of the year, reflection. So I thought I'd share it with you. The best way to work through this is to listen to the entire podcast first. Then go back and write down the questions that resonate with you the most, or the ones that you know deserve some time to ponder. Believe me, the answers don't always come easy. I've broken this into six different sections. These questions aren't meant to get to the nitty-gritty of running your business. We've been doing that in every single one of these podcast episodes. Some of the questions are meant for you to look at overriding feelings and thinking that are going on for you right now. It's meant to identify things that are worth considering to help you move forward or enlighten you on what's holding you back. These six sections include overall business, product creation and development, growth, the day-to-day, personal enrichment, and the future. All I'm going to do here is read these questions without adding in my own two cents, because I want you to extrapolate from each question the angle that's relevant for you. I've also left it in the first person, just as I had created them for me, so they feel personal, as if you're asking them to yourself. Ready? Here we go. Section 1, Overall Business. What exactly is my dream? 
and has it changed over time? How does my business fit into my life overall? Am I committed to the real work required to realize this dream? What am I afraid of? Why haven't I done this yet? Section 2. Product Creation and Development Who is my product for? What does my product offer a customer? Does this result matter? Deep down, am I proud of my creations and what they provide? Section 3. Growth What is the one thing I should be focusing on now? Am I showing up consistently where it matters? Do I present my authentic self or do I show up how I think others want to see me? How do I know if it's working? Is growing bigger worth it? Section 4, the day-to-day. Do I get excited, most days, to work on and in the business? Is my workspace comfortable, organized, and motivating? Do I need to get some help? Do I have an organized method for prioritizing all the tasks? Am I often trying to save a buck versus finding a smoother and faster way? Are there things I can stop doing to save time? Am I documenting how I do repetitive tasks so I don't need to reinvent the wheel each time? Section 5. Personal Enrichment What do I do to get away and refresh? Am I celebrating the small wins? What am I doing for continual learning and improvement? What one thing can I add to my routine to keep me healthy? Sleep? Drinking more water? Meditate? Do I check in with myself regularly to make sure all is well? And six, the future. Is my product still relevant in today's world? Do I still get joy and satisfaction from what I've built? Do I stay at it because I've invested so much already? How can I switch things up to make it fresh and exciting again? Has this journey run its course? What new things await me if I let this go? Okay, your turn. Now, if the time is right, or block out specific time in your calendar to do this. Make yourself comfortable, pour your favorite beverage, and settle in for 30 minutes or so. Even better, get out of your regular environment and go to the local coffee shop. I often find putting myself in a different place helps generate free-flow thinking. With pen and paper in hand, re-listen to these questions and write down the ones that apply to you. Once you've got your list of questions, think about and answer them. Take your time, be honest with yourself, and journal your answers if that works for you. When you've finished answering the questions, you're not done. (laughs) If you've found that there are actions to take, you want to make sure it happens. Designate space in your calendar to create a plan and then follow through with it. Remember, intentions are great, but actions bring results. And finally, there may be some questions that require more time. I know that happened for me. A few of the deeper questions may take days or months to ponder. That's okay. It can be really difficult to get out of a routine that you've been doing for years that no longer serves you. The point with this entire exercise is to make sure you're on track with the path you want to take. Not just in business, but in your life. That's a wrap. I'm a get-to-the-point kind of girl, and this is what you can expect from these quick midweek sessions. Now it's your turn. Go out and fulfill that dream of yours. Share your handmade products with us. We want them, and they bring us both so much happiness.